our bungalow building. They house the production teams that are currently working here at the studio. And bungalow number three is home to the all-new Mickey Mouse Club. You can see that weekdays on the Disney Channel. Now this is one of the fastest growing departments here at the studio. Now some of these topiaries can take up to 10 years to grow. In fact, Pete's Dragon right there is in his eighth year. Does anybody know the name of Pete's Dragon? Elliot. Elliot, that's right. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> hey, it looks to me like we've entered the glamorous world of costuming. Here you can see the original costume from Mary Poppins. Michael Jackson's costume from the 3D Adventure Captain EO. And you'll also see the co-stars of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Here at the studio, over 100 talented artists design and produce costumes for our motion picture, television, and entertainment needs. Now just beyond costuming, you'll see our lighting, props, and camera departments. Here we store lights, props, and cameras. Imagine that. This equipment can be used either on or off the lot. In fact, Several network television production crews use our lighting and our camera equipment when they're covering shuttle launches at the Kennedy Space Center. In the scenic department, carpenters begin working on sets that are later finished inside a sound stage. A set that gets used over and over again is referred to as a standing set. Now it could be as simple as a living room. Hi, Herbie. Everybody say hi to Herbie. Yeah, you know, Chris used to make the shuttle for that. Herbie's parked in front of Bird's house. Ernest Hayes' Christmas. 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 No, that was Alan and Madison's house in the TV movie Splash 2. Okay, here's a bonus question. Does anybody recognize that blue house on your left? No, because it hasn't been used yet. But, <laughs> as you can see, our production designers are busy putting the finishing touches on that blue house to give it a sort of lived-in look for an upcoming shoot. So maybe we'll see it in the future. Now, before Chris turns the corner, I'd like for everyone to get a good look at our back lot church. Notice how the side facing us looks like a little country church, but as we turn the corner, you can see that the front, well, it fits the big city role. I guess you could say that that church was made to alter. <laughs> The back lot at the Walt Disney Studios in California got its start back in the 1950s when Walt produced his first primetime TV show, Zorro. Who remembers Zorro? Hey, look at this. Great. <laughs> this area to your right is known in the business as a boneyard. Here we store large size props that we've used in earlier productions. See, generally we like to tend we tend to hang on to things that we can use again in the future. Now those dragon head boats were used in an Epcot Center show called Skeletoscope. Whatever we could use them for again, I don't know, maybe a bad breath commercial. This brown keel boat was featured in the Walt Disney picture, The Treasures of Matic Kumbe. And some of the scenes from that movie were filmed on Bay Lake, which is right behind the Contemporary Resort Hotel. Now from across the canal, you'll get a good backstage view of our homes on Residential Street. And notice how all the architectural detail stops just out of camera range. Well, this is because we only build what the camera needs to see. I mean, if the camera's not gonna see it, we don't build it. And today you're in luck because they're filming a scene where a shuttle tour gets trapped in an active oil field in a rocky, dry, barren desert canyon prone to flash floods. Now on the back lot, we can even recreate the weather. And for this particular scene, we happen to need a real downpour. And since time is money is movie making, we can't just sit around and wait on other nature. When the cameras are ready to roll, the rain has to be ready to fall. Looks like they were running that rain effect a little bit earlier today. 
construction underway for Star Tours that opens in 1990. Now this trolley car was featured in the 1988 film Who Fra- Roger. He's always just going on about something. Uh-oh. I think he's trying to warn us, folks. It's the tip The real tip from the film. I think we're going to get tipped. Hope you don't have any food on board. 
Boy, doesn't that feel refreshing. Studios. 